So we have Katrina McNabb with us, who's been heading the content at WGCN for for a good part of two decades now. It's about 17 years actually, because WGCN started uh, 18 years ago. And I joined quite uh, a little bit after it uh, it just started. started so yes, about and 17 years. Ago. So this is the second innings in India for WGCN, WGSN. Sorry. Is this the second time? Are you coming to Delhi it's my as an no, it's organization? My, it's my first time in Delhi. I've been to Mumbai before, but not Delhi. So this is my first time at uh, New Delhi Fashion Week, which is wonderful. Very excited to be here. WGSN used to have Delhi operational offices, and yeah, they so sort we, of sorry, we have a, a partnership with Technopack, mm -hmm. and they're based here, so that's our, that's our main partner. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, we're in partnership with Amazon, which is really exciting as well. So this is really something new for us, and really uh, something that we're going to grow for the next few years. Well, I didn't know that you're partnering with Amazon mm, for yes, yes, that's why I'm here this week. So mm -hmm. tomorrow, I'm giving a presentation, a seminar mm -hmm. to the industry about what's coming next. Mm -hmm. looking at global trends and then seeing how they aspire and how they will influence into the Indian market. And what is the Indian market look, looking like today, what we're picking up from the Indian market. So it's really sort of marrying global and India together. So it's, we're really, for the first time, doing this. But the Indian market is so huge, just in terms of size. Yeah, so I'm not doing the whole of the Indian yes, market, yes. so it's just really picking key things out for mm -hmm. me to talk about tomorrow. So really sort of honing in on what's new and upcoming. Um, so that's really exciting. Uh, I was going to say it's so huge that almost everything does well. Mm. So the kind of predictions that we expect to come out of WGSN yeah. is it going to be like an exhaustive list? No, or? no, it's in fact a very short list because mm -hmm. uh, I think what the industry is looking for from WGSN mm -hmm. is to really say what are the key things happening. Mm -hmm. So it's not just everything is happening, but you know, if you're a buyer in the industry, you really need, need to know with authority and with sort of great mm -hmm. um, conviction. That yes. you are placing your money on the right item. Of course. So we're very much aim, aiming this seminar at buyers and merchandisers, not just the designer. What I can't put my finger on is how do you think the reports will work? Because now the sort of seasonal way of shopping mm -hmm. is over. It's completely finished. So what kind of timelines are you looking at in terms of so, reports? So we've got everything from two years out. So some companies do still work out, still do work two years out, especially if, if there are um, any technical information that they require. So the active industry, the intimates industry, all of those industries still require a lot of performance testing. Mm -hmm. So anything like that really works far in advance. Okay. So that then as the industry becomes closer and closer to season, we've got companies that can work a few weeks ahead of the retail market. So, I mean, there's a lot of things trending at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's 90s, which is very big right now. Yeah. The 70s, 70s have been is going very on for big. a long time. And it's always right. big. It always works. Mm -hmm. So, sort of, how does how do trends now operate? Many designers say the forecasting is over. You can't afford to forecast for big sizes anymore. You can't afford not to because you're going okay. to lose a lot of money if you don't get your product mixed right. Okay. So, it's not just about looking at a key item, but how does that key item work with other items? So, it's all in the mix. And right. I still think a consumer needs to be educated how to wear things. Mm -hmm. So it's all about how to style things, how to sell them in the shop window, what is going to be in your lookbook, how are you going to market that product, how is it going to be in social media. So it's everything. It's, a, it's, it's the whole planning of the next six months yeah. will be very important to a retailer or brand to get right. So mm -hmm. that's where we come in and help companies develop their strategy around product. So, will you also be authoritative on the ethnic side of Indian fashion, or are you looking particularly particularly at high street or designer it's brands? A bit, it's a bit of both. I think the, the Indian market is changing quite a lot. Yes. Um, you've got newcomers coming in, like H and M. Uh, uh -huh. Zara has been here, so the, your market's been disrupted a little bit. So yes. I think you know, with with European brands or Western brands coming in, mm -hmm. and that is offering a bigger choice to the consumer now in India. Yeah. So what does that mean? What does that mean for a local uh, domestic brand? Yes. Does it mean they've got to change? They've got to look at what's happening around them? Because the co consumer ultimately wants choice. It's yes. driven by the consumer. Mm -hmm. Consumer drives everything. So if you're not giving what the consumer is looking for, then you'll be left behind. Mm -hmm. So it's our role to really ensure that everyone has the same information. Yes. So I think what WGSN does is to democratize things. So we can give information to retailers, to brands, to weavers, to textile designers, and everyone else in between on that whole sort of chain of the industry. And Dubsen can fit information into that sort of 
whole chain of events that makes a consumer yeah. buy that garment. But the Indian local market tends to be sort of unique in certain consumption mm. patterns. We have local tastes that will not translate to say outside. Absolutely, uh, and I think yeah. the market, as you said, is huge in India. It's fifty-eight billion dollar market. It's enormous. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity here is phenomenal, and okay. you, know, you know we want to be part of that big growth that's going so to happen. Is in this India. a sort of like a bipolar? Attitude because there were operations in Delhi earlier mm -hmm. and then they shut down and now WGSN is back again. Yes, so, back. <laughs> so what was the idea behind sort of shutting shop and then coming back? I don't think we ever shut a shop, mm -hmm. um, but I think what we've what we've decided to do is approach things differently. Mm -hmm. And so by partnering with a big company like Amazon, mm -hmm. um, we can leverage our position in India quicker and faster. So I think yeah. we're just doing things differently. Okay, and what about your nature of uh, the collaboration between Technopack and mm. I think... It's a great partnership. We've been with them now for 10 years. And uh, TopRight. Yeah. Then. Well, TopRight Group is the parent group of WSN. So it's, okay. it's uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the parent is a much bigger organization than just WSN. There's also a home and textile section. Yeah, home believe. interiors, lifestyle and interiors. Mm -hmm. We also have a data product called InStock. Okay. So that's looking at what's happening online, what's what's driving the business online. So we can utilize a lot of that data now into our trend forecasting. And that's become the biggest change that I've seen over the last few years, is how data influences what's happening in trend forecasting. Yeah. So that's quite something quite new. So it's not just about intuition, it's about intuition with data to back it up. And that's okay. what really the industry wants now, is how, you know, what does it mean for me, and am I sure I'm going to make the right decision? Okay, last one. It's also a very sort of uh, chaotic, disorganized market, the Indian market. And WGSN, the price points mm -hmm. might not translate to say the medium sized exporter or retailer. So, what is your strategy to penetrate the market in that sense where you become accessible to the people who are actually the largest number driving exports yeah. and manufacturing? Yeah. I think, as I said, we're, we're very good at tailoring what we do for each market. So we were successful in many, many different regions from Africa to South America to China to, to lots of different countries. So we look at each country and analyze how we're going to operate in that country. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously with Technopack and they're, you know, they're, they're very, very um, instrumental in how we will grow our business. So I think partnering with those companies, that will give us a really good insight into what is really required for the Indian market.